What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here today with my reaction to episode 221. I'm so excited because we just started the month of August. It's VIP month. I'm super hyped. But also if you are only here for like Naruto or certain other series, I will be rotating Naruto with My Hero Academia in the month of August just so I can kind of catch up to where I need to be on some of the smaller series that we are doing. Now... I just started recording a second ago and I have a massive like framed picture on this wall behind me of Alex the kid and while I was mid recording it fell off the wall and I'm not kidding you I'm not even going to show it because my scream was embarrassing okay it was really embarrassing I got an absolute heart attack so I've just taken a look at the wall and it was like quite loose and whatever so it was gonna happen inevitably and today was the day so I feel like that wall looks like completely naked without anything on it so hopefully I can get it back up later on when I find all the screws and things like that don't forget if you want to watch these before everybody else you can head on over to the VIP section over on my website. Also thank you so much for all the follows lately over on my Twitter and my Instagram. I am super blessed and I'm super grateful for all of you honestly. So thank you so so much. And with that being said, let's do this. Is he still behind us? <laughs> Snake? <laughs> Kabuto? Who else would have snakes? I'm getting accustomed to these powers. It's going well. Not bad at all. <gasps> oh no! I think it's about time to put my plan into action. Oh my goodness! He's had a makeover. He actually somehow looks better than before. <laughs> he was a little bit too nerdy. Not my type. But Kabuto! Oh, I can't believe we're about to go into a filler arc. Why does it do this? Honestly, we just get to like some amazing arcs and then boom, 20 episodes of filler. Have that, Susie. Feeling unsure, eh, Naruto? I can't say that I blame you. But why? Lord Fukasaku, the way the Nine Tails gets its power is by mixing two things together, its chakra and its will. To control the power, <laughs> you must extract only the Nine Tails chakra. Convert it to your own chakra, and thus make it your own power. The Nine Tails will is a mass of hatred that's bound tightly to his chakra. I'm sorry, I love these little diagrams right here. They're so adorable. In other words, <laughs> you must have a strong will of your own. One that's completely empty of hatred. One that's capable of complete... No haters over here, please, Mr. Fox. The fourth Hokage made the nine tail seal so a little bit of its chakra leaks out of its cage, hopefully to naturally become one with Naruto's own chakra. It's known as the eight trigram sealing formula and creates a double interface tetragram seal. If Naruto uses this key to open the tetragram seal, he could pull out all of the nine tails chakra. And as soon as Naruto's will loses to the nine tails will, the nine tails will be fully resurrected. So, why is this a good idea then? It's far too risky. To restrain Naruto, who started a Nine Tails transformation in training, Jiraiya used the key to tighten the seal. Yeah, that's because he nearly killed Jiraiya in that training. Jiraiya was greatly concerned. The seal was still loose. If the fourth Hokage sealing formula was beginning to weaken, there's no telling when Naruto might undergo a Nine Tails transformation again. You know what is nice to know though? It's not just that they didn't want the Nine Tails to come out, but they also cared about Naruto and they didn't want anything to happen to him. Look, I need a favor. Just hear me out, all right, Garatora? It won't take long. <gasps> it's about Naruto's, Naruto's face. tetragram seal. Come on, you just tightened it, didn't you? Do you want it even tighter now? Sheesh. Not quite. Just the opposite. If it's not too much, I want to loosen it up just a little bit. Jiraiya wanted to deliberately open the seal for just a short while. To drill Naruto into developing the power to resist the Nine Tails' will. Well, it failed miserably. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, at least he tried, though, right? 
everything that Jiraiya done was to help Naruto in some way. And that's really admirable. You're the shinobi who inherited the Rasengan, the jutsu developed by the fourth Hokage himself. So shape up! You have no idea just how happy I was then. Back when I first learned the Rasengan, I mean, it's the fourth Hokage's own jutsu. It's almost like I'd taken over the work of one of my idols. Not just one of your idols, but your freaking dad. Can you imagine how he would have felt if he found out then and there that that was his dad? Ugh. I know the fourth Hokage was a great shinobi. You don't have to remind me. Yeah, that's for sure. He's totally different than someone like you who gets stupid excited about mastering one measly little jutsu. Jiraiya being a little bit harsh there. I really wish that the fourth Hokage was a lot more predominant in Naruto. Like, he's just a word. But he means so much to so many people, and I wish that we got to see more of him. Only you possess the Nine Tails Chakra and can master that jutsu. It's a jutsu that only I can master? Do you mean that... Yeah. The fourth Hokage left it solely for your sake. He meant it as his legacy to you. It's his legacy. <sighs> From father to son. Oh. Will you train to master your chakra control and live up to the expectations of the fourth Hokage? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course he was gonna. He's gonna be Hokage one day. Wow, it kind of just goes to show like just how strong that fox is. It's terrifying. And nearly killed Jiraiya right there. Seems the harder I try to become strong, the tighter the grip of the Nine Tails will on me becomes. So that's the reason for the scar. The one that was on Jiraiya Boy's chest. So tell me, what's happened since then? It hasn't gone well. Long ago, against Orochimaru, I relied on the Nine Tails' power on purpose. Yeah, you nearly killed Sai. You should have killed Sakura, but you nearly killed Sakura. And poor Yamato. You know what I mean? What a mess. I'm just starting to feel like this whole thing is going to be too much of a risk. I mean, I know they're showing all the times so that he's tried to resist, but even when he fought against pain, he failed. And if it wasn't for the fourth Hokage, I don't know what would have happened there. That's when Captain Yamato told me I needed to stop relying on the Nine Tails Chakra and to fight using my own power. Feelings of hate are bound to come out. So I thought I didn't want the Nine Tails power anymore. I knew if my own will wasn't able to suppress the Nine Tails will, then I didn't want power that would hurt the people around me. I made up my mind to put it aside. I was so angry. I lost it again. That's what I'm talking about. Every single time he has lost it. So I just I don't think this is a good idea. But I need the Nine Tails Chakra in order to fight Sasuke. I am the Nine Tails Jinchuriki after all. I can't hide from that forever. I'm going to conquer this control thing, Dad. No more hurting my friends. Hearing him say Dad no is just like... No hatred. Woo! Oh, gosh. This is now or never, then. Ugh, I actually have chills. Are you sure, Geezer? Are you sure? Tails chakra. But... He has the fourth Hokage's love, and that sheer gutsiness instilled in him by Jiraiya Boy. Contract complete. Storage time. Huh? What do you mean? What's storage? Relax. You don't need to do a thing. Just open your mouth nice and wide. You got it? Mouth? <laughs> Just say, ah. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. You're going to get the frog inside of him, right? All right. I'm going in. <laughs> Hey, open wider! <laughs> you don't want to get inside, you are not! That's actually making me gag a little bit thinking about it. <laughs> Geezer! <laughs> well, that's it. It's done and dusted complete. now. I'll be returning Naruto boy to the Hidden Leaf. 
And then we'll have to find the octopus. Oh, that's right. The prophecy <laughs> said I was going to meet an octopus. Mm -hmm. It seems a veritable pleasure resort to me. It's Killer B. It's 110% Killer B. That is where the octopus will cooperate with you. In any case, you'll receive guidance there. Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, it's not a fight or anything like that. It's going for guidance. So I think Naruto and Killer B, they might team up. I suspect that he's taken on Orochimaru's will. Now the big question is, is he going to go after the Hidden Leaf or the Akatsuki? Let's I don't start know. With greetings, oh. Toby. Oh, that's right. I hear you're going by Madara these days. I'm impressed you found me. You shouldn't underestimate my volume of intel from crisscrossing the land as a spy and as an Akatsuki member. You're going by the name Madara? What does that mean? Oh? Kabuto versus Toby? Whoa! Whoa! X members! What the hell, Kabuto? A forbidden jutsu known only to the second Hokage and Lord Orochimaru. Now I'm the third one to know. Oh my god! I've surpassed the two of them in other ways as well. This show was for your benefit, so you'd believe in my power and trust me. I want us to join forces. No! Forces. And what would be in it for me? I hear that you're starting a war. I can offer you more strength in battle. Daydada. Day -da. Kakuzu. Kakuzu! And Nagato. They're all stalwart warriors. I was going to say, what about... They're not the only pawns that I possess. What about the other guy? I know he's like... Well, he's not dead, is he? The one that's like down the bottom with the deer looking after him. I'm just interested in finding the pure truth behind ninjutsu. Sasuke is merely necessary for part of my research. <gasps> I need a young, living Uchiha specimen. And if I refuse? Summoning jutsu. Reanimation. What the hell? Who is that? Who is... That... Surely you didn't think that I'd come unprepared to a meeting with you. See, you cannot refuse me. Who is that? Don't worry, I haven't told anyone else about this. <gasps> what? About what? <laughs> I never would have imagined you would become such a formidable vessel. Quarreling with you now would only lower my battle strength. You came here at the perfect opportunity. You are very clever. Very well, we'll join forces. But I'll only hand over Sasuke after you've both completed your roles in the war. Until then, you can't even see him. Cause he's John Cena! I'll reformulate my strategy after I confirm your battle strength. Come along. Who the hell is in the last coffin? No! You horrible! Horrible! Who the fudge was in the last coffin? They obviously meant something to Madara. Tokuma, two o'clock. Byakugan. Right. Byakugan! Byakugan. It's not Orochimaru, because he was a traitor to the Akatsuki, so he wouldn't care about him. So who the hell? I don't know. Oh, shoot! It's... What is it? Kabuto isn't alone. He seems to be with a masked member of the Akatsuki. It looks like they're going into some kind of underground entrance. Are you sure? Wait, a masked Akatsuki? Could it be he's the one who claims to be Madara? Does this mean we finally found his hideout? But why are he and Kabuto together? Are those two allies? Oh my god. I mean, he doesn't really care about Kabuto. As per usual, Kabuto just wants to experiment on everyone, so... Oh my god. 
Oh my god! Kabuto! Really? They don't trust each other. Whatever was in that coffin has Madara spooked. Oh, Kabuto, you smart ass douche lord! Seriously! I can't believe this is happening. Can I be real with you guys? Kabuto appeared in OG Naruto during the first exams. And when he first appeared, I thought he was just like a nerdy character. There was at no point did I ever think that Kabuto would somehow outlive Orochimaru and somehow still be here. Like I thought he'd be long dead by this point, but he's not. I can't believe he is still here. And now he has joined Madara's side in the war. He has reanimated certain members of the Akatsuki except Hidan, I think his name was? Hidan, maybe? Which, it makes sense because Hidan was immortal, you know, they chopped his head off and he was still talking more than I do, so it would make sense. You can't reanimate someone that's still dead, buried somewhere. Um, still dead? Buried, still alive, buried somewhere, sorry. I just always assumed that he'd be long dead by this point, but I stand corrected and I reckon that Kabuto might somehow actually become cool. He looks pretty badass just now, so... Who was in the coffin? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who... <sighs> I don't know. You know, Madara is like keeping everything quite close to him, so... There's nobody that I could be like, ooh, who could you use that as like a bargaining chip? You know, we don't know enough about Madara at this point to be able to say. Huh. All right, one more episode and then 20 filler episodes, which I'm going to watch in my own time. And then we will be back with the main story. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.